you know what? This is the best bit. Bro. This is the best clip from that fucking show. This is the best clip from that show. Because if ever you needed an example to show you, just maybe to illustrate why Brendan is where he's at, despite giving every advantage, every cosign, every privilege, everything that you needed to succeed, he still finds a way to fuck it up in his own special way. And it's so funny to watch. This is another good example of it. Brendan Shaw, midway through the show, decides to insert an ad for his fucking whiskey, which is pretty, pretty gross. I gotta be honest. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty gross, right? You already got a million fucking ads on your fucking pods anyway, a million sponsors, a million things you're plugging, there's many fucking codes that you're fucking flinging. Enough with the fucking ads. Now he's making merch for his whiskey, Tiger Fick, Tiger Cum, whatever it's called. He inserts it midway through the show and just watch the watch the watch the trailer for the watch a little video for the Tiger Fick whiskey thing and see if you can notice something. Just 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 keep your eye on it. But yeah, this is another example of why he's not the student of the game. But big up a story to tell. Thank you for the five dollars. Look at this clip. Just keep an eye out on the fucking advert for Tiger Fick whiskey. Mm, don't wear the jacket. <laughs> it's up to you. It's coming, it's coming. Oh, we don't have jackets. We got new Tiger Thick whiskey merch just dropped tonight on thickboy.com. We got whiskey glasses, hoodies, tees. The Tiger Thick merch is available right now on thickboy.com. New fancy glasses. Oh, you missed it. I missed it as well. I just go back, right back a little bit. I gotta scroll back up again because this is hilarious. We got the final kids subreddit guys for spotting Ew. this. This is fucking beautiful. Oh, we don't Look have at jackets. This. We got new Tiger Thick whiskey merch just dropped tonight on thickboy.com. Around um, here, keep, glasses, keep your eye here. Hoodie, keep your eye here. The Tiger Thick merch is. Can you see that? Can you see that? <laughs> so, for some reason, whoever's part of the fucking marketing team or the fucking production team that puts these adverts together wanted to film this little sizzle reel of the whiskey being poured into a glass. A Tiger Fit glass, right? They've got their own glasses now. Cool. Tumblers, whatever. With some dice there with the logo around it. Do your thing. From high up above. And for some reason, when they're pouring this whiskey into the glass, it starts to bubble like it's, I don't know, like lemonade or some shit. Like, what the fuck's going on here, innit? What are we doing here? But if you really scroll back a little bit, what you'll notice is that the bottle that they're using isn't Tiger Fit. It's actually Jameson. <laughs> so the lack of professionalism right you can see the logo a little bit there can you see that look you see the logo of the bowl you see the j and the e like anybody that's drunk enough jamesons or has seen it you will instantly recognize what the boat bottle logo looks like and that is definitely jameson's so the lack of professionalism the lack of attention to detail means that they went to a shoot an entire shoot right an entire shoot they went to to film this flipping little advert they got printed. Keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. They got printed, right? This. So this is a specific design that they put on the hoodie, on some t-shirts. They got also printed, um, you know, some, they got also made some dice, these little metal dice things. They also got made these little whiskey glasses. So a lot went into putting this up right to putting this together. You put the whole thing together. You want to put a little capsule collection out there. You want to make it part of your whole lifestyle, blah, de, blah, blah, blah. And then it comes to the shoot day and you don't have a bottle of Tiger Fick whiskey around. That's the one thing you kind of notice in this whole little sizzle reel, this whole little advert. There's actually not a bottle of that fucking, you know, soy sauce looking shit. It's not there. And usually that bottle's everywhere, right? I mean, look, even on that table, there it is. Look, it's right there. There's the bottle. That horrible soy sauce vinegar type bottle design is sitting right there. Next to, I forgot the other name of it, that one that Joe when you started drinking. So, so somehow along the way of putting the fucking advert together, no one had the attention to detail or had the foresight to bring a bottle of Tiger Fig with them. Even though he's the most likely got, I reckon, this is my theory also, I reckon Brendan's got pallets and pallets and pallets full of Tiger Fig whiskey somewhere in some fucking warehouse just collecting dust i'm sure of it or at some port there's just loads of them there they get to and i don't know how long whiskey kind of you know lasts and stuff but they're probably approaching their sell by date but i think he must have 
like thousands of bottles <laughs> that have gone unsold. So the fact that they couldn't get one bottle, one bottle exactly, Vagabond, of that sweet, sweet nectar, they couldn't find it and take with them on the shoot is fucking hilarious. The lack of professionalism, lack of attention to detail is just bizarre. And again, just an easy, easy fumble that you thought no one else would notice, but unfortunately the homeless cats always got their eye on the ball. Look at that. You can see it right there. It's a Jameson's bottle. <laughs> Honestly, man, it's like, I don't know. Sometimes in life, the worst people are given everything and they fuck it up and they still get given more, which is why I say sometimes the whole notion around karma is a nonsense. That's why I also say sometimes this whole pointing and laughing at comedians thing is so fun because you just point and laugh. Don't sit there, be hateful. Don't sit there and hope for bad things to happen to them. No, just laugh and enjoy the shy show. This is probably better entertainment you can get on TV right now. Trust me, I watch, you know, TV series. I've, I've started watching this show on Amazon called Citadel. Fucking garbage, but there's nothing to watch, so I'm watching it. White Rabbit is, sorry, Rabbit Hole was decent with Keeper Sutherland, but ended pretty crazy shit. Barry season four isn't the greatest now. It's kind of fallen off. Snowfall, kind of overrated. All these shows out there right now, like Succession, I'm waiting for it to finish and I'm going to watch it all at once. But still, it's not pulling up any trees. There's not much good content out there. Unless you like watching reality TV, which I don't watch. But the clearest thing near to reality TV are these comedians, especially Bapperverse stuff. Because where else would you get a guy from the Bapperverse who decides like to do the unconventional, to start his own liquor brand, but not do it the normal way that like every other celebrity does it, where you just get, you know, you just go to a place and you just basically stick your own logo and pick your own bottle design and kind of tweak the flipping recipe. But you kind of, it's kind of white labeled, you know, it's kind of all done in house sort of stuff. No, he tries to do it on his own, his own way. There was a time where, if you remember, the law, there was a time where Brendan thought he could sell his whiskey bottles on Shopify. He thought he could just have it on his website listed there and you could buy a hoodie and buy a bottle of whiskey too. He also thought he was allowed to just like take bottles with him to clubs and just sell them out from his bag and shit. <laughs> he had no research, nothing into what he was doing at all. He just goes as per usual. And this is a clear example of just going. You turn up to a shoot to flip and promo your new whiskey uh, merch and you don't have the actual bottle to show off. So you have to pour whiskey up from high above, but then you don't do it high above enough and now everyone sees the Jameson logo. It's fucking perfect. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh, you couldn't make this up. And why is it bubbling like that? Like, honestly, whiskey shouldn't be bubbling like that, surely. No? It shouldn't be frothing. It's not a pint, it's whiskey. <laughs> it's not beer. <laughs> it doesn't have any hops, I'd imagine. Oh my God, absolutely incredible. But big up, Brendan, always winning. And we are the ones who are always losing. 